Ça qui passe, Philly. Look around you, see art everywhere. Haiti has deep tradition of art that are thriving here in Philly. With young artists of the diaspora pushing the boundaries while also honoring culture and traditions. If you slow down a bit, you will be able to see traces of their culture while also telling the story of America. I immigrated here when I was six. And I remember that everything was just so dull when I got here. I just was like, where is the color? Where, why are the buildings so boring? So there's a desire to make sure that things have cultural competency, I guess is a way to say it, but just that they feel real, that they feel connected to blackness and black culture. What got me into practicing yoga was understanding like earth-based practices that indigenous folk all over the world have practiced that, that I recognize from uh, spiritual practice in Haiti. Like I am defined by being born in Haiti, being raised uh, for some of my life in Haiti and still having that connection. So it feels like home. Uh, part of Haiti and Philly's connection is when the Haitian Revolution started, a lot of the fleeing whites came here to Philly. And so I found myself thinking a lot about that, like the refuge given to whiteness after this incredibly important moment where enslaved Africans rose up and repaid years of brutality upon their white oppressors. You know, the idea that a colony would rise up against its European oppressor was not what Americans saw. You know, America at that point saw the possibility of its Africans rising up and slaughtering them in the same way. But I think what that speaks to is this like, this interconnectedness that we are beginning to account for. I know that's not anywhere fully done, and I hope this project is a piece in that in getting us to think about these connections, because um, I know I am. I'm the only one born in Philly out of all of my siblings. So I always had like that Philly pride with me. When I knew that I was Haitian is when my mom got a VHS tape of the carnival. I think it was 1999. She put on the TV and I was just sitting there and I was like, what is this? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Like my, there was like a fire in my belly listening to that music. Since high school, it was always a mission of mine to have better representation of Haitian women, because even before the earthquake, I would Google Haiti, and it's like all these exploitative images of Haitians. And I was like, well, that's not the Haiti, like, why is it always this, this, and that? Also, like, when, you, when you're being taught history, it's like, okay, I wanna hear about Haiti next, you know? And there's nothing about your country, nothing about your culture, yeah, or like, very little about black people, period. My journey has been trying to process all of that. You know, it's, I still have a long way to go. Right now, I'm continuing to work on my photo book, GoFum. GoFum is a book that I am trying to honor my mother. My parents passed away when I was 10, and along with them, the Haitian community that my mother built I grew up with a lot of questions about myself, about where I came from. And as I got older, I started to look like her. People would cry because they see her in me. Or like if I say her name or they remember um, things about my mom, they would cry. And it was just like, yo, this lady is very important, you know? And I think my mom's story is very important to share. You know, I, I wanted to be a painter who embraced Haiti, America, 
European Americans, art. Like I wanted to embrace everything because I think that's what Haitians do. So I went into the whole process like the scientific method. What's been done before, how can I add to it? How can I uh, in improve the message? I got really serious into the construction aspect of a painting. This one is on an easel, it's traditional, it's, but this is very something very African about this. I feel like I'm working on an instrument. So the whole process of the three-dimensional work is whew, completely different. Those are the little things that make me so excited. So I'm, I'm learning, so that's enough. I'm learning and I'm gonna keep learning slowly. The reason why I did that painting of the Haitian Revolution is because um, the Haitian Revolution has been suppressed. Um, it took place in 1804 and Haiti became the first independent republic. And I find it fascinating how no one really talks about it. Like it's my duty to make that piece. I'm a Haitian American. I have a, I'm gonna make that painting just because people need to know the, the history that is continuously being buried. It's easy to get stuck in Philly. It's like a glue stick for artists. Like there's a great artist community here. There's artists who just wanna make art but also wanna live as artists. And it's, I like the way the city looks. I like how chilled out it is. You know, I like biking around. And I didn't see the need to go anywhere else. And I feel like till this day, I have to ride my bike every day once to inform me before I go back to painting. You go to Chinatown, there's a bridge there that is just as colorful as a tap tap, right? You go up to 69 in Woodland and there's nothing but African flags and it looks like you're in Africa. It's all there in just little tiny hidden pockets. They're all Haitian people who decorate their house just like Haiti, right? <laughs> so in a city like Philadelphia, I think I'm lucky. The recent event has taught us that every moment, sound, color, symbol, count. So Philly, it's time to rediscover your city and embrace your differences. Stay tuned. Nula.